Hey guys, it's Chris from Capcom Unity, and we're here at the Street Fighter 25th Anniversary Grand Finals, and we're about to announce Street Fighter Cross Mega Man to the world, and nobody knows a thing about it yet. It's right here underneath my shirt, and we're going to take you right now to talk to a couple of guys who brought this game to you free of charge. It'll be out on December 17th, and we're going to tell you a little bit about it, how it came together, and maybe show you some new boss footage, so stay tuned. The 25th Anniversary of Mega Man starts on December 17th, the day that this game will be available for Okay, Street Fighter Cross Mega Man, how exactly did this happen? Uh, well, for us it happened when Zhang Wei came to Evo and came up to the Capcom booth with a laptop in his hands, kind of, you know, a little nervous. You know, we, we looked at the game and you know on the spot and I was like, wow, this is this is really cool. Yeah. And, and unbeknownst to him, you know, we'd started having discussions internally. I started clicking a few things in my head of this this kind of works out just about perfectly yeah. if 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 this if everything can line up timing wise you know it could be the end of the 25th anniversary of Street Fighter and the beginning of the 25th anniversary of Mega mm -hmm. Man so how long did this take you to create um, I, I worked on it uh, only during my holidays previously so uh, but if I were to cram everything together it should take about less than half a year less than half a year yeah. you know there's a million fan games mm -hmm. but there are very few that really kind of stand up and, and, and can stand next to our own work yeah. and say you know this is this is really good um, so what was it about this one that really jumped out at you the quality of it like the concept met content <laughs> when I saw it right that's it, that's exactly what it comes down to mm -hmm. really good execution of a really good concept that yeah. we hadn't come up with in our own head we wish we would have thought of it yeah uh, it's for sure so I asked him for a build, and you know I'm a Mega Man fan, but I gotta admit, you know the, the technicalities of fall speed and, and slide <laughs> distance are probably not things that I yeah. have sort of necessarily in, in my in my immediate grasp. So I brought it back to uh, Brett and Greg mm -hmm. and said, "What do you think? Give me a give me a temperature reading." Uh, well, like Christian mentioned, um, he brought this first build back from Evo uh, 2012 and kind of gave me this disc, like very nondescript disc with no label, just like, hey, somebody gave this to us um, at Evo, I want to make something of it, like, but I want to run it by you first and see what you think, and I played, I barely got halfway through the first, I played Blanca level, mm -hmm. and got about halfway through it, and I was already like, this, it get, this, this, <laughs> and yeah. it, it's right, it's correct, it feels right, it, the, the physics are right, the philosophy of like what is a Mega Man game, like moving room to room, the way the enemies come at you, like this all feels very tight and right and real. Now what was the hardest part about developing this? Putting everyone in the game. Uh, uh, when you select the bosses, you need to consider the AI, mm -hmm. the popularity, the weapons that you get, and the series that you want to put into the game. Because uh, I want to try the 2, 3, and 4, as well as the Alpha series yeah. to be inside. It's representative of the whole series, yes, which is yes. one of the things that's super cool about it, and I, I couldn't imagine being the one who had to make the decision to <laughs> pick 8 and go with that. The one that barely made it in was to me. Really? Why yeah. is that? Uh, because, like, I wanted a uh, China team stage. Uh, there's many yeah. characters from China. There's Fei Long, there's, uh, there's Yun, Yang, Gen. They get little call outs in the levels. Yeah. That kind of speaks to another element that he, Zhang Hui, very excellently integrated yeah. into the game is that it's. It, they're not just bosses yeah. for the sake of having a boss and they have this pre-programmed thing like they really do behave like their Street Fighter yeah. 4 counterparts so like when I got to Blanca and I saw him do his the ultra does the zoom in I'm like oh wait I know I know what that is like I need to jump because the whole ground is going to be electricity <laughs> so I immediately jump and to know that that actually worked and then I fight Rose and I see her the soul satellite and the, the, mm -hmm. the, the rotating orbs I'm like okay I know what that's going to be and then when Ryu does the charge up, I know I'm going to need to jump over some big fireball. So all these little things about Street Fighter and Mega Man happening simultaneously yeah. make that is what made it so much fun. No, why why yeah. free? Um, a couple of reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think one, if if this is a a love letter to Street Fighter fans and Mega Man fans, we want as many fans as possible to sort of be able to participate in that. You know, the other part of this is, to some degree, um, it's a little bit of a make good, mm -hmm. particularly for Mega Man fans. Oh, it doesn't it doesn't make up for for where we're at, but hopefully it it, it opens the door to future conversations. Mm -hmm. You know, both externally and, and internally with fans. I call it a hell of a 25th birthday gift. Yeah, it's it's a good one. Hey, it's an early Christmas gift for yeah. everybody. <laughs> yes. I, I don't care I don't care how you slice. it. Hey bosses, do you have a favorite? I actually really like uh, what Zongwei did with Dalzim. Um, yeah. Dal I mean, Dalzim, like, I don't know how to play as, that's not my character. Blanc is always my character mm -hmm. if I'm playing Street Fighter, but like, from fighting him in Mega Man terms, like, mm -hmm. Uh, just the way he animated his limbs stretching and the way yeah. he'll teleport around the room and just the way the boss room is actually constructed. It's a very challenging fight, but feels like I'm fighting Dalzim. Yurian's my favorite boss in terms wow. of in terms of his mechanics. Mm -hmm. Vega. Vega. <laughs> yes. Vega. Yeah. So that's that's a new one for people. I like the music as well and because when you fight Vega there's things falling off. Yeah. Yeah. 
he's all over the place. Yeah. He's, mm. he's one of the more difficult boss. Yeah. I have not beat him yet. <laughs> okay. Mm. The Vega stage is really cool, and the Vega boss battle is probably like the most elaborate. He's he does he's use wicked. he'll use the cage. I mean, when it opens up, the rose petals fall down. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a lot of production put into it. Use it. Okay, I like the last boss as well. So yeah, you like the last boss? Yeah, and the secret last boss. Yeah, <laughs> the secret Wait, last the, boss. That's, that's called the boss secret. Last awesome. Boss, yeah. Uh, well, we don't want to spoil too much of what happens after the eight bosses. I mean, you know what's going to happen. It's a Mega Man game. Mm -hmm. You're going to fight the eight bosses, and then you're going to have four levels of something. And uh, there is a pretty tough final battle, and there will be uh, kind of a, a surprise at the end as well.